Hi everyone. Welcome again to ragamuckle.com. Today's session is for how to add tasks in Azure Center. So before proceeding further, let's understand today's agenda. Then we'll move to or we'll jump to practical demo on that. So we'll discuss here what is task, how to add a task in Azure Center, complete configuration or complete setup of task and if by mistake if you have added any specific task which is not required inside the project or inside the user story or inside the defect you can delete it so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's begin with creating a task first of all what is task task is basically small functions or small activity which is performed by you so just like this is a defect for fixing any defect development team will add individual task for them because they will definitely utilize some time for fixing any specific defect for testing this defect qa or uat team definitely need some time to test it so basically this will capture the time span or the time span on particular activity that is called as task for creating a task you can create inside the user story or you can also create inside the defect as well so i will show you in both the places so right now we are inside the defect so for fixing this defect development team will add the specific task in their repository so to fix this defect so this is task for development team they will describe each and everything here and if there is any attachment they will include it or add any nodes if they have define state is in define state you can keep as a in process or in progress or complete it according to the state the owner who, who is creating the task for who is going to work for this particular task they will add the information or the owner name here estimated how much time it will take to finish this task just see a task so to do is the a task so let's create this task after creating this task when you will jump to previous page or inside the defect list you're able to see one task is created here which is again to do list Eight estimated is eight, but if you have completed in the state, you can just mark as a completed, and you can see to do to do is basically this much hours needs to be spent for this particular task. As you can see, once I updated the status from in defined to in progress or in progress to completed status, the to do is empty right now. Here you can see zero. And uh, hours or estimate will be eight hours is showing. You can also include some more fields like uh, actual so right now it's not available here, but you can configure it according to your need. So this task will be created for you. By same way, you can copy and uh, edit it or uh, create a new one for the QA team or for testing team to test this defect. Test this defect and this is for QA. So you can see now it's in defined set you can move it to the in progress or completed and the hours are completed here so this is how we can copy if you want to delete a particular task just select that particular task and click on cl uh, delete this task will be deleted permanently for you now you can see this task is removed from this list just refresh this page and this task will be deleted from here 
So by this way, we can create the task inside the defect. But if we want to create task inside the user story, you have to select the user story and inside this task, you can create your particular task. So I'm not uh, clicking on create with details and just directly writing here and I will click on create. So this is simple task. I'm giving just a name and you have to provide your estimate 7 hours and click on create. So this task will be created here without adding any additional detail. You but in further if you want to update it you just have to select and edit once you click on the edit the other fields are asked you can update it according to our name so by this way we can create the task inside the user story or inside the defect so that's all about creating or adding task inside the agile center hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates Thank you for watching.